think, okay, Izzy accepted, and she was okay with the fact that she was going to die, but did she start, uh, was the reason she started looking at the Maya culture, was that because she was maybe hoping that there was something more after it? Um, no, she's writing a book uh, called The Fountain, so she's researching Mayan culture because it's about the conquistadors going to going to the Americas to look for the Tree of Life amongst the Mayan communities. Oh, see, I saw it yeah. as something more. I was, I was thinking she was looking for maybe something more because she was I, I'm sure you're die. right no and she comes across an interpretation that really that really resonates with her so yeah yeah you're, yeah that, I think that, that I think that's right what was the lesson that she was trying to teach Tom though by asking him to finish the, the book um, well it's all about knowing how to how things end and he, he won't accept that he has an ending he won't accept that. Are you trying not like to give ends. away something? Or? No, no, no. I'm <laughs> okay. not. I mean, like everyone, everyone. Inter I think about this film is that it's 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 a kind of like a wild experience, like a wild magic carpet ride, and everybody, everyone interprets it really, really differently. So I don't want to tell you what I think it is because then other people are going to think, hold on, but I didn't think that was what what it was about. You know, it's it, it it's a movie that really provokes debate amongst people because people think, no, I know what it was about, but the the the, the real fact is is that. I think all the answers are right. It's like, what's the answer to the meaning of life? There are a lot of answers. You know, what does love mean? What does love mean? There are a lot of answers to that. See, I was hoping you would give, tell me so that that way, if my version is correct, then I'll feel better about myself. But you should <laughs> feel good about yourself because it's okay. how you see things. I think there are two moments in this film, two key moments that if you maybe drift off or not pay attention, it won't all come together for you. And I think one is the, the Shabalba, the, the looking at the star, and then looking at the, when uh, Izzy is looking at the, uh, the carvings. And right. I, I think those two explanations kind of put everything into into place. Right. Do you agree with that? Some? Yeah. Okay. You said that. Uh, <laughs> see, there again. I, this is just for me. Yeah. Because you know, I, I was like so proud of myself. Yeah, you I, should I, be. Yeah. Uh, you said that the Darren is an actor's uh, yes. director. What do, what does that mean? What that means is there are a lot of directors that are very interested in how the film visually looks, and they're great with the camera, and they're great with the you know, the moves of the camera and all that kind of stuff, but they don't really get in there and direct performance, which means it's more like if you're doing a play, you know, the, the director really rehearses with you and goes over the lines and really pushes you and helps shape your performance. And he's, he's both a visual director and a performance director. But when you're doing these takes over and over again and you, and you, you feel you've gotten one, that works. Darren it, will say, "Do it again." Why? I mean, is that like? <laughs> what does? How does that make you feel? Because though? I think he 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 really pushes his actors, and sometimes when you get pushed beyond the place where you feel comfortable, something really interesting happens. Yeah. How differently did you play the queen versus Izzy? Because I noticed the queen was stiffer and more just queen queenish. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. She was queenly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had you know this great palace, and I had a great corset, and a dress and a crown and a wig and you know uh, Hugh Jackman is a conquistador to order around send off to South America to get me the tree of life you know it's just uh, uh, how do you get to be a queen I don't know it's just uh, it's like fantasy uh, how would you personally would you rather drink from the tree of knowledge or the tree of life uh, I think neither I do I'm, I don't want to eat from it, either of those trees You're I think no no I think I you know I think th in a way what the film is about is about is about accepting life as it is and that we, we don't live forever and therefore we have to celebrate life because it is finite and it is sh in a way quite sure and we have to be in the moment be with our loved ones find out what matters to us go on a journey with our with our husband or our wife and 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 and, and celebrate this the simplicity of love so I don't want to eat from the trees. <laughs> this movie is so visually stunning as well. Yeah. What, when you're reading the screenplay, did, did the, how did that play when, when you saw the finished print versus what you read when, when you were first enticed to do sure. the role? It, what was it? Sure. Um, well, I, I, I'm like you watching the movie for the first time because I didn't know what the, all the visuals were going to look like and all the special effects were going to look like. So my, when I read the script, I had like some boring version of the film in my head and I saw it and it blew my mind. Yeah, it blew my mind. Because it just doesn't look like anything we've seen before. It's a totally new, new vision. Well, you were brilliant as always. Oh, thank, thank you. So much.